Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be trying on some products from Dose of Colors. This is part of their truffle line. I have an eyeshadow palette, I have a lipstick duo, and I also have a blush. I do have those products on right now, so give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. Also, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I put out new content. So if you wanna see me try on these products and also give you my first impressions, then just keep watching. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. I am gonna go in with with the Milk Matte and Poreless Primer. This is a new product that I've been trying. I've only tried it like twice and I really haven't been able to wear it like all day long. So today I'm really gonna put it through the test, but since I'm not doing an all day wear test, I will leave that detailed information down below. But yeah, this is what the product looks like. It's just this tube and so far so good on the hours that I've been wearing it. Like I said, I haven't really been wearing it that long. And to be honest with you, it held up really well for those four hours. I do love the way that this smooths out my pores. You you can totally see the difference when you put this on. It has like a green tea scent to me. You know, like if you're buying something with green tea in it, I don't know, it's weird. It has like a green tea scent to me. So I'm just gonna rub this in on my T-zone because that's where I get oily the most. And my pores are really blurred out. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but they really are. They look really good. Now I'm gonna be using a lot of the new Dose of Colors products that I got from the Truffle line. I am gonna be using a foundation from Dose of Colors as well. So let's go ahead and start with the truffle palette. I will say that I did do my eye primer or my eye cover up. I still have a black eye. It's not as bad as it was, but it's still there. So I went ahead and did it off camera. If you want to know how to cover a bruise or a black eye, I'll link the video here so you guys can check it out if you need to. But I am going to be using this. This is the truffle palette. And I'm really excited about this, guys, because I have not used this. And the colors in here are so gorgeous. All right, so those are the shades. I just dug my nail in one of those, but they're so pretty. Very neutral toned shades. I've been loving my Aerial Brushes by Morphe, so I'm gonna be using those today. Um, I am gonna go in with, gosh, I really wish I wouldn't have dug my finger in that shade. I am gonna go in with that shade that I dug my finger into which is this one right here. It's kind of like a blush tone. So I'm just going to put that in the crease. It looks a lot darker on my eyelid than it does in the pan, but that's okay, it looks good. I'm gonna go in with this shade next. I think, let me see, the shades are actually on the back, so the first shade I used was Allure. I'm gonna go into Season next, and I'm just gonna go right underneath that shade. Wow, these are really pigmented, and they're going on like so smooth. All right, so now we're gonna deepen up that area. So I'm gonna go in with gravity. I'm just gonna take my brush and kind of run it on the outer corner. I just wanna deepen that corner there. So there are eight shades in the palette. There's actually six mattes and two shimmer shades. Okay, so that looks really nice. I do like that color. It was like a chocolate brown. It deepened up my outer corner beautifully. It blended in with the other shades beautifully. So now I'm gonna go in to, I'm gonna go into that shade right there called Dazzle. And Dazzle, of course, is a shimmer shade. And I'm just gonna press that on my eyelid. Dazzle is really beautiful. It's a very beautiful shimmer shade. It doesn't have any glitter in it. It is pigmented though, it's nice. I'm gonna take the brush I had before and just kind of blend everything together right at the seam. I don't want it to be too harsh. All right, so I did do my eyebrows. I have my e.l.f. brow pencil on. I am gonna go back in with a, um, what is it, a brow mascara after I'm done with my entire face, just to kind of darken up my brows just a little bit. I am gonna go in with this Glowy Makeup Serum. This is by Laneige or Laneige. This is something I purchased at the last sale, not the one that we just had, but the one before. And I wanted to go ahead and start using it again. I do like this serum. It's a very glowy serum, so it's very hydrating, and it just looks really beautiful on the skin. And basically what I use this for is like the outer perimeter of my skin where I want a little bit more glow. It feels so good on the skin. Very moisturizing. And you see it gives that really beautiful glow to the skin. All right, so I have two shades of the Dose of Colors foundation. I actually have 123, which is a medium tan, and 120, which is a light medium. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and mix a little bit of each. I'm gonna add one pump of the medium light. You see how light that is? And I'm gonna add one pump of the medium tan, and then I'm just gonna mix them up, and I think this will be a good color for me. So that's the shade right there. I'm just gonna dot it on my face. 
And I'm gonna speed through this really quickly. We're really not showcasing the foundation. We're basically just showcasing all of the truffle lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this. So the next product I'm gonna go into is the truffle blush. Now I'm hoping this blush will show up on me because the blush is very, very light. But this is the packaging, really cute blush packaging, just like the eye palette. Here's the blush. Like I said, the blush looks really, really light. So I don't know if it's gonna show up on my skin. I hope it does. I'm gonna take a brush and just dip it into the product. Now it does come off like pretty pigmented when you dip your brush in there. show up wow I didn't think it was gonna show up oh my gosh that's so pretty pigmented but it's not like splotchy on the skin it goes on very smooth really beautiful wow I'm super impressed because I honestly thought this was not going to show up I'm gonna go in with my elf wow brow really quickly because I did want to darken up the brows a little bit So for lips, we have this truffle lip set. So here's the packaging. So these are the two shades that it comes in. So it comes in a gloss and it comes in a matte shade. Both shades are called truffle, but one, like I said, is a gloss and one is a matte. So we're gonna go in with both of these. So I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Pencil in Sandy Beige. I think this one will work with that lipstick and the lip gloss. So let's go ahead and try the matte lip first. I like the applicator on this. It feels comfortable. And I've always known Dose of Colors matte lipsticks to feel comfortable. It doesn't feel like drying on my lips. It is a pretty shade, but it's a very light shade. As you can see, it looks like my lip color a little bit. It doesn't really stand out as a nude shade. And then we're gonna go in on top of that with the gloss. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like these little glitter particles. Ooh, it's pretty. And you can't really see the glitter in it, so they're probably very like fine. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do something with my hair. I'm gonna come back. All right, guys, I'm gonna go over these products really quickly. I do want to talk about the gloss and the matte lipstick. Now, the matte lipstick, I do like the feel of it, but I really don't like the shade of it. I figured it would be like a little bit lighter. It's really like the color of my lips already, so it doesn't really show that much on my lips, but I do love the gloss. I think the gloss went on beautifully. It does give a beautiful shine to my lips and it just goes on really easy it's not sticky it doesn't have like a lot of slip to it so I really do like the gloss but the matte lipstick is the formula is good but I just don't like the shade as far as the truffle blush guys this surprised me and impressed me I honestly did not think that this blush was gonna show up on my skin I'm pulling up closer so you guys can see a little bit better I just felt like it was gonna be too light and it wasn't it was perfect for my skin tone so it does have a lot of pigmentation. So that's probably why it did show up because it does have a lot of pigmentation even for being like a light shade. So I really do like it. I think it's so beautiful on the skin. It's like the perfect blush shade. And what I mean by that is that it's a blush color that goes beautiful on the skin as a blush. So if that makes any sense, but yeah, it's really pretty. I love it. And then for the palette, I love the palette guys. I love it. It is like a perfect everyday palette. You can jazz it up with some of these shimmer shadows for nighttime. I, of course, wear shimmer like during the day. I love the way the shades went on. They look really pretty. They give kind of like that blush pink slash romantic 
type look. That's what I think of when I look at this palette. Yeah, they're really beautiful, guys, and such good quality, really, really good quality. So yeah, I'm super impressed with both of these products. If you can get your hands on these products, I would highly recommend them. These are just a beautiful addition to my collection. One more thing, this is not a new product, but I do want to mention, if you've never tried the Dose of Colors foundation, you guys have got to try this. This foundation lasts like all day. It's so good. It makes my skin look flawless. It has perfect coverage. This is what I would consider full coverage. I really didn't need to put on too much of my heart shape tape. I always put it on if I feel like I need a little bit more, but honestly today I really didn't need it. I just went ahead and did it because it's out of habit, but I put very, very little on. So I really love the finish of this. It is an amazing, amazing product. This is a new product, but I am gonna let you know in the description box down below whether this worked all day or not. I will say that I do love the way this covers the pores. I will say, even though it's a mattifying primer, it doesn't go on like a matte primer. It has more of like a lotion feel. So when I put it on, it just like blends into the skin and it starts to look matte and it starts to look blurred as well. So, so far so good with this guys, but like I said, this video is really not about this. I just wanted to mention it because it's a new product that I've been trying because I had not used it for a long period of time and that I will leave the deets down below. So thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys. Take care and don't forget to subscribe and we will talk to you on the next one.